Okay, we're going to talk about volume light in this one. Volume light max is pretty easy. Uh, the scene that I've got here for you to play with just has a tank. I've added some little headlight type things. And I've put a spotlight inside these headlights. And you can see the fall off here has a really tight hot spot and a pretty wide fall off. If I render this, this is the scene that I get. There's no volume to the light, and that's what we're going to actually add, is the light that's in here is, is hit, when it hits objects, you see the light or the shadow, but you don't see the light in the air reflecting off dust or dirt, much like you'd see a car headlights when you drive through fog. And that's what we want to add. It's actually pretty easy. You select the light, go under Modify Parameters. You'll see this is what you'll be looking at usually. I'm going to go all the way down here to the bottom where it says Atmospheres and Effects. Click that. You'll see this big white area here. Click Add and Volume Light. And then you just say OK. Then if I render this, Volume Light's actually in the scene, although it's the default setting for Volume Light. It may not be very good. There's our Volume Light. Not too exciting right now, but you can see that it is a volume light. It's a pretty clean place our tank is in right now. I'm going to highlight volume light and then go to setup. And you're going to end up over here in environment and effects. We've actually been in this screen before to change the background color and the ambient color. And I have two here because I was playing around with it. You'll have one volume light listed. Make sure that the volume light you add is attached to the right spotlight. If the one that I have is called F-Spot 01, if you see that there, it's correct. And then we'll just go through these, these settings real quick. Attenuation color is like a tint that's going to be added to it. I'm going to say use attenuation color. The density is how much the light shows in the air, and I like to turn this down a little bit. I'm also going to turn down the max light percent down, because I don't like it so bright, and I'm going to turn the minimum up a little bit. And I'm going to render that just to see where I'm at. Watch the difference down here in the light. It's not going to be a whole lot of difference. A little bit fuzzier around the edges. Can you see that as it comes down here? Slightly fuzzier, and it's not as dense, so it's not as bright. That's pretty good. And now I'm going to add noise. Noise is going to make it look like there's particles in the air, like fog or dust. Just ramp the amount up a little bit. I'm going to say that I want those to be turbulence. That's the type of noise that it's going to make. And if we render this, you'll see that now the light beam is broken up when it gets down there by these, this noise that I just added to the light beam. And if you animate this scene, you can actually have the noise move by putting the wind setting on the environment, which is in that environment and effects panel. And we'll see what we get here as this renders. It's going to kind of break up the light a little bit, kind of make it clumpier. There we go. A little bit better effect. So I like that, okay. And I'm going to close that. Here's that wind that I was telling you about with wind strength if you wanted to animate it. So I'm pretty happy with my noise at this point. I'm going to ch close that. I'm going to go over here. I need a light over on this side as well. I'm going to hold down shift on the keyboard and clone this light. It's going to end up over here in between or in this other little uh, light holder thing. This time I'm going to make it an instance. And what that will do is every change I make to one light is going to be changed in the other light so that I only have to adjust one. So from here on out, if you wanted to play with it and adjust it, you could um, make any settings to one and it will be made to both. Let's see what this looks like here. 
might take a little while to render. You might want to fast forward here towards the end of the video. I made a mistake here. Actually, what I've done is my Omni light, which is in the scene here. I'm going to delete that because I actually attached the effect to my Omni light by accident. I'm going to make a new Omni light real quick. Jump back out here, position this Omni light. There we go. Make sure the Omni light has shadows turned on. Multipliers at 0.4. That should be good enough. And let's see what we got now. There we go. And you can see our tank is driving through fog now, and its lights are going to catch that fog. It's going to show up here in a second. There we go. And so the lights of the tank will catch the fog as it drives through it. You can use this for smoke coming out of exhaust if you want. There's other uses for it. If you tighten the hot spot and fall off down to almost a beam-like setting, you'll end up with something that looks like a laser beam, like a targeting device. We've seen a few of those in this project before. And there we go. So that's our volume light, our headlights catching the, the fog there. Let that render all the way through. But uh, play with the settings. There's a lot of settings in there. There's a lot of uses for this. This type of effect won't export out to a game, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on it. But you can make your scenes look a little bit better with it and have some fun with it if you want. And there's our final effect.